Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet Designs. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we are working on part three of our Sunshine Bright Blanket. Yay! Now um, where are we at part three? This is where you will be at the end and then I would have sent you off on your own with some um, details on what to do next. Okay but where we start now is we get to the end of our squares and I show you how to join them. That'll be our next step. In the meantime, what will you need for this tutorial? You will need your usual yarn that you're joining with. You will need a four millimeter hook. You will need your scissors and you will need that darning needle if you haven't weaved in um, some of your greens like I haven't. Um, and you may need it to weave in those first few ends of the white because or cream because yours truly did run out of cream literally around the last few blocks before finishing the last few blocks or the last few squares so there you go I mean it happens it's okay <laughs> anyway that's it guys I'm not going to talk too much because once again the tutorial does go a long time um, it will start off from where you left off last time or where I left off last time you will need to have this row finished by the end of this tutorial you will have had all your squares joined and two rows of um, the I don't know what you want to call it the middle section of your border all right so I'm not going to talk anymore the tutorial goes for a long time like the rest of mine thank you so much for joining me and good luck with part three of your sunshine bright blanket all righty guys here we go how gorgeous does that look I know and as you can see I did ask you to leave this final row all the way up to the stitch marker from memory I said don't complete it get to the stitch marker and wait for me there which is exactly what I've done hopefully you've done the same and a reason being is because one side of our work was joined the opposite side was left open the other end was left opened as well sorry about the lighting guys it's really hard for me to record this way and let's bring all this blanket back out again so it's on the mat <laughs> you can see what I'm doing so what we're going to do is we're going to join here like normal then we're going to come around we're going to go down here like normal and normally we would turn and come back out this way and keep going without joining now we have to join these sides as well because we are closing up this side and when we get to this corner, we will close up that side and, of course, the other side. All right. So I'm not going to show you anymore because it's really, really big. And I'll show you properly later anyway. But let's just get on with joining our next, or I should say, last eight squares. All righty, guys. We're going to continue on in this little corner here. Now, this corner, we are joining exactly the way we did any other round. So chain one, jump into your space there, pull a loop through, chain one and continue your um, whoops, spaces all the way along, straight into the corner again. Okay, let's do that. Oops, that's probably too far now. Hey, what do you reckon? <laughs> so there's your corner complete. Jumping into every square across, I'm sorry, try every space. Oh, wake up, Mary, it's starting already, too early in the morning. Every space across, okay. And when you get to your corner, you're performing the corner uh, like you would a normal corner where you did a three, two, three. Three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets. Okay. All righty. And here we go, we're getting to the corner. Right now. All right, so there's your corner. Firstly, I'm gonna take that stitch marker out. We don't need that in there. You will need it soon though, so keep it handy. Um, there's your corner. And what are you doing? Your double cluster set. That's three, two, three. Three double crochets. Two and three. Chain one and two and three double crochets one two and three every corner you come to until the end of this round 
your closing round will have your double cluster set from now on okay that's just a heads up i'm just going to turn the blanket around sorry guys too big for me now it's falling off the table and all sorts of weird things are happening all right so now we're just going to get on with the rest of this side just until we get to that first corner actually no we've got to keep going right in don't we actually you know what we can do we're going to stop right here because i'm not going to let you sit here and watch me do this part you know how to do this part what i want you to do is grab your little stitch marker pop it in your very next corner okay and what i want you to do and this is the easy part you just continue down here through here and back up to that corner don't complete the corner get there and i'll show you what you need to do next Alrighty guys, here we are at the end of the area where I said to pop your little stitch marker in. Take that out for a moment. Leave it there because you're going to need that in a moment. Ordinarily from here you would have left that opened so that we can get down the other end, come back and then start adding more squares. But now we've finished our squares and if you still have more squares go ahead and add and so on. But for the rest of us who are finished our squares we are going to be doing it's the best bit guys it's very simple exactly what we've done there we're just going to be doing that here so chain your one if you haven't already chained it i'm sorry let's bring that up yep and then just jump into your corner oh, i've got a little bit of thread there because i changed my yarn before sorry about that pull your loop through like so let's get rid of that thread chain one and then jump straight back into your corner and finish the corner so all you're doing in this round is that getting across the row getting to every corner and doing exactly that it's a super duper easy row because you know what you've been doing you've been doing it all along when you join into the corner so guess what guys you're gonna hate this <laughs> <laughs> you're going to head off on your own you're going to do all of the corners and if it helps to let you remember it and this is why I said keep your stitch marker available pop it in your very next corner and that will remind you that when you come down here you do your corner like normal your three two three you come down here you join it all up like normal when you get back up here you've got to remind yourself to slip stitch like you've done here okay every corner needs to slip stitch all the way until you get to <laughs> and this is the best part when I get to the end <laughs> until you get to this corner okay I'm gonna grab another stitch marker I'm gonna grab the same one but you don't know that because you can't see it right <laughs> you like that I'm gonna grab another stitch marker so finish your whole round yeah I'm so naughty aren't I <laughs> very very naughty so finish your whole round joining your corners as you go all the way when you get to your very end of this row get to that corner and wait for me there and I'll let you know what you're going to do next good luck guys alrighty guys here we are at the end of the row I'm trying to get all the threads out the way now that's the the stitch marker you put in the end the very last square on that corner all right now let's get on with the rest of this side so you've closed up two sides already now we're going to close up this side now remember this side has all of this a little bit tricky but it can be done okay but first before we do anything oh, I've got no sing songy I'm sorry guys one <laughs> and two can finish off your corner I was gonna say complete and I said can finished <laughs> can you believe that can finish your corner there's my new word <laughs> can finish your corner I'm sorry I, I got sidetracked finish your corner and do your cluster set one cluster set two now I'm counting these sets for you because I want you to stop at a certain time cluster set three if you've got the same squares as us otherwise stop in the last cluster set of course look at that look at that right there let's see if I pull it too hard oh that's okay all good <laughs> what are we up to three <laughs> wake up Mary <laughs> cluster set four 
one, two, and three. All right, so what we're going to do now, jump into your corner space, and we'll bring that up a little bit, right there. And we're going to do your normal cluster set of three double crochets, because you've got one set there, you need to finish it off. This is a corner after all, okay? Now, from here, you're going to chain one. Now, see all of this? You're going to slip stitch through like that, pull a loop through, chain one, jump into the very next corner and finish off those three double crochets of that double cluster set. And that is what you've done. All right. You have joined your sides here. Right. And then you've turned around and you've joined that middle section there. So we're going to do it again. Just four cluster sets across one. two three and four Now, before you jump into your fifth, I'll get a nice close up for you. Your fifth is your corner. You've got half a corner, remember? You're going to complete the other half of the corner with your three double crochets. Oh, maybe not. I got all tangled. Sorry, guys. I ended up with hair on my yarn. Let me get that off. I don't know whose hair that is. <laughs> it's not mine. <laughs> Do your three double crochets. Hello. Do your three double crochets in that space. Like so. Yes? Okay. Chain one. Now remember what we did before, that little center space. Popped our hook in there and we did a normal slip stitch. Chain one. Finish off your corner in your next square. One two and three i don't think i need to show you any more not really not for this part all right look at that that's why i stopped <laughs> Shh, don't tell them <laughs> what i want you to do i'm so naughty today what's wrong with me I'm so naughty all right so what i want you to do and this is the easy part you're going to go across the row doing your four cluster sets when you get to your corner finish let's try it that way four cluster sets one cluster set in there chain one slip stitch chain one cluster set in your corner four cluster sets across same cluster set in your corner chain one slip stitch chain one cluster in the corner and so on and so on and so on until you get to <laughs> your first corner you are you not gonna I'm not gonna meet you up you're just gonna keep going get your first corner turn your work do the same join it in there join it in there all the way across until you get to guess what that very first cluster set we did in part two remember i said pop your stitch marker in there and we won't be using this until we join our square our very last square that you have done well join our very last square join close our squares all right, so you're going to continue along in that manner. Get to the last cluster set. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pop another stitch marker <laughs> in that very last space. And that's where I want you to get to. And I shall meet you up. Good luck, guys. All righty, guys. Here I am at the end of the row. Remember, I popped that second stitch marker there just to tell you where to get to. So in this space here, you are popping your last three double crochets get excited guys because you've just closed up your uh, squares yay that was the difficult part of the blanket seriously next rounds a tiny little bit difficult but not extremely difficult all right so what you're going to do is just pop your hook in there and slip stitch over to your next cluster set yes and you know how to do slip stitches you've done them all along yeah but from here 
you're going to slip stitch into that stitch right there which is your next double crochet one slip stitch into your next double crochet two slip stitch right into your corner space Th oops that didn't work let's try that again corner space three all right now if you wanted to change colors here which i wouldn't recommend it on this round because we've got to do some joining here um, but if you wanted to change colors here you just needed to slip stitch in the first one however um, uh, because we're not changing colors i've just slip stitched into this corner after this round you can change as many colors as you like if you wanted to change colors here just remember at the join here we're going to be doing something different okay so your joins might look noticeable if you're using a different color in the meantime we're going to chain up three let me bring that out again uh, one two and three popping your stitch marker in there because now your rows um, are going to get very long and each row will come back in here and slip stitch into there you are going to now pop two double crochets in that corner one and two and then chain two one and two then you're going to pop three double crochets in the same corner one two and three and now we're going to continue just popping cluster sets in every space you come to one we're going to count again this is one cluster set in there the second cluster set in your next space two i'm going to, have to stop in a minute because my yarn is all tangled <laughs> two three cluster sets across and we're counting on purpose because later i'm going to send you off on your own okay four cluster sets across five cluster sets across all right now before we continue i just wanted to show you what we're going to do here okay all right so we're here this is where our join is our major join is and this is the stitch we are going to join together to make one if we put three double crochets in there three double crochets in there you would have extra spaces in your next round and then in your next and your next and your blanket will start to be have a, like a wavy look about it in this case I don't want to do a wavy look I want it to be nice and straight with just a gentle wave but not over over each other not like loop wave like a straight edge we don't want it to loop okay so that's just explaining what we're doing here okay so what we're doing here is we're not putting three double crochets in there we're putting one in there for now like that and then from here to here we are going to do a double crochet two together yarn over your hook pop it in the first space pull up a loop like normal you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two now from here you're going to yarn over jump into your next corner pull up a loop one two three four loops on your hook yarn over pull through two you should have three loops yarn over pull through all three loops and then you're going to put another normal double crochet in that space so what you've done is you've formed one if you look carefully at your little v's there see how those little v's that we always count there's one two three v's here we literally almost put four in there we joined two together to make one so now we've got one two and three if i was to have put three there and three there we would have six so you would have to put another set of clusters in there in the next round whereas in the next round now all we have to do is put one there and then one in your next you'll understand it in our next round but for now we're going to start counting across again 
and our sets are there's your first set which is one you're going straight into your very next space with a cluster set your second set two your third set three I'm sorry I'll slow down a little bit for you guys sorry I'm rushing <laughs> I've been doing this all day <laughs> your next set four <laughs> oh, there's always one crazy lady in every tutorial <laughs> oh wait that's me <laughs> your next set five <laughs> oh I'm tired <laughs> all right and then we jump into our corner sets right here and I'm going to show you that stitch again so that you don't get all confused okay all right, so what we do is we do one double crochet in that corner, the first corner. Now in the, with both the corners, we're gonna do our join two together. It's called double crochet two together. Yarn over your hook, start it, pull a loop through, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. Leave those two there, yarn over, go into your next corner space, pull a loop through, one, two, three, four, Yarn over, pull through two, one, two, three. Yarn over, pull through the last three. And then you're gonna do a normal double crochet in the same space. All right, a little bit tricky that stitch, but it's actually not. After a while, it becomes like a habit and you've got quite a few habits to do. <laughs> if you think about it, <laughs> does that make any sense? You've got one there and one there. Let me bring this out and one in every line that you see and when you get to your corner you do your double cluster set so what i'm going to do is let you now we'll do one more we'll do one more or i'll make uh this section here let's just bring that out a bit okay i'll just jump into my next space like that and i'll put this on fast motion until we get to our very next join all right Alrighty, don't you wish you could really crochet that fast? <laughs> Alrighty, so here we are at the corner. Let's get a nice close up. That might help. <laughs> Alright, so what you're going to do first is your normal double crochet in there, just one. Alright, and in here you're going to start your double crochet. Remember, yarn over your hook, start it, pull a loop through, three loops on your hook, yarn over pull through two leave those two there yarn over go into your next corner space pull a loop through one two three four yarn over pull through two one two three yarn over pull through the last three and then you're going to do a normal double crochet in the same space all right I think you get the picture yeah jump straight into that next space all right two super duper easy and I'm not going to let you watch me do this all the way across. No. But what I would like for you to do is just do one, two, three sections. Get to that first corner and I shall meet you up. Alrighty guys, what you should have is this. Notice how I'm giving it a gentle tug in each section. Okay. Now the reason is because yes it's a tiny little bit tighter than the rest of the work however if you were to have put your normal cluster set in there and then put a normal cluster set in there you would have it would be too full and your work would eventually bucket buckle along the way whereas this way your work is going to lay straight i hope that makes sense but it may make sense towards the end of your blanket but for now let's just get on with it this you've done your whole side yes just one side and you're going to pop yourself in your first corner when I take that stitch marker out okay all right you're just going to jump into that very first corner oh the clouds are coming around now guys it's getting dark 
<laughs> so do you I don't know why I'm talking about that <laughs> one two three double crochets chain two and three double crochets all in the same corner so your corners have not changed throughout your whole piece on your main four corners but they've changed here all right that's all you need to remember your main four corners that you have now you should only have four corners if you have more than that oh something's wrong <laughs> but your main four corners that you should have should be your double cluster set of three double crochets and chain two like that three double crochets chain two three double crochets yeah but the rest of your work should look like that all right you should have that filled up now what you're going to do and you're thinking what on our own yes you are <laughs> you're going to do the whole row because you know when you get to your corner that you need to do your double cluster set okay you know what to do here now you've been doing it for one side okay oh no we're near the corner where is it <laughs> corners over here <laughs> So what I want you to do, pop your little stitch marker Rooney in there. It's my new name for it. <laughs> oh, I'm so silly. So get yourself all the way around to that space and get ready for the next round. You're going to love the next round. So get yourself there and I shall meet you up. Alrighty guys, here I am at the end of the row. Let me take that first stitch marker out. Give you a nice little close up there all right you still need to pop another cluster set in there so you do your three double crochets like so all right and right in that stitch marker there you are going to slip stitch you can take that stitch marker out if it's a bit difficult for you so slip stitch through like so alrighty from here we are slip stitching into our very next stitch right next to it like so pull a loop through slip stitch into the next like so pull a loop through and slip stitch into your next space like so okay now if you I forgot to mention if you wanted to change your colors here just slip stitch into that first stitch cast off and then pop yourself into the corner and pull your new color through in the corner now the reason i say this i'm just going to chain up three first one two and three popping your stitch marker in that third chain okay laxel super duper easy now this round is going to be super duper easy all right now the reason i say you may want to consider changing colors is because the next three and two uh, the next five rows I had to count there <laughs> the next five rows is going to take between 150 grams and 200 roughly it's a rough amount I'm just trying to remember how much I used in the last blanket and I know when I did the Tandy farm blanket I literally had to go and purchase some more yarn so I didn't actually have enough for the border I did end up with quite a bit left anyways so maybe it'll make it to 180 I don't know roughly it just depends on the measurement um, of your blanket how big your blanket is depends on how tightly or loosely you crochet um, but you know to adding everything up you're looking between one roughly between 150 and 200 grams all right so consider changing colors around now however just to let you know, I have five rows to go. One, two, three rows will be your cluster sets all the way until you get to your third row. Then you will have two rows of single crochet. The first row of single crochet will be single crochets along here. And then in the middle right here, we're going to be doing a tiny little pattern. It's not a major one. It's like, I don't know, half double, double. I have to check the pattern. I'm sorry, guys. I can't remember it um, to raise it up a little. And then it'll drop back down to single crochets all the way across until maybe there or the next one. I really haven't decided. I can't remember the pattern. 
<laughs> but that's one of the rows that you will do. That will be your second last row. Your last row will be a single crochet in all of your stitches. When you get to that little raised stitch, you're going to do a pico. Or if you are new to crochet and you're worried about pico because it can be a little bit tricky, I'll show you the easier way where you can just do a single crochet, chain three and a single crochet on top of your little peak or your little point, if you will. All right, so that's what I mean by your next three rows being this stitch. Your last two rows will be a change of pattern. Not a major change, just a change in general. All right, so this row is going to be simple. This is a row that you will need to know for the rest of your blanket until we get to the border, which is part four of our um, blanket. So let's just do a quick version of it. And you're thinking, what? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's not a quick version. Pop in your two double crochets to start your corner. One and, oops, two. The blanket's really heavy now, guys, so I'm struggling to keep it up on the table. Sorry. Okay, now chaining two, one and two, and popping in your last three double crochets for that corner. Okay, I'm just going to oh, bring that out a bit. It's really tugging the blanket. <laughs> you guys are lucky you get to work on a flat surface. <laughs> All right, so jump into your next space with your cluster set. That's your first space you're jumping into here. Jump into your second space. Notice how I'm counting. With your cluster set. Jump into your third with your cluster set. This is very, very basic, this row, very basic. Jump into your next with your cluster set. And your next with your cluster set. And I stopped counting, but I'll count for you in a minute, so don't stress. And now, okay, this is, this is this, let me get a nice close up for you. There you go. This is a space before your cluster set. This is a space after it. That was the join that we had right there. So from your corner, you should have your corner there. And then you should have one, two, three, four, five cluster sets. Yes. In the sixth space, you are doing a normal cluster set. Super duper easy, yeah? And you're going to find this next part even more easy. Or easier, I should say. <laughs> Alright, so there's your next step. Now your next step, very simple. A cluster set in your first space. Directly, you're going to skip over all that. Cluster set one, two, three, four, five. And in your space before your set is a sixth one. Your space after the set, you're just going one, two, three, four, five, six. If this is confusing you, the best thing that you can remember is a cluster set in every space you come to. It's super duper easy. This row, you cannot mess up unless, you, of course, you put it in between there somewhere and you don't want to do that. Okay, and you'll notice when you get there, let me show you, you'll notice once you're there, you, you, you really can't put it in there. There's no space for you. So you jump right over your set, pop it into your very next space with a cluster set. So if you don't want to count, that's fine. Don't miss any spaces and don't create any spaces. <laughs> that's it. This is how super duper easy this row is. Okay. Uh, jump into your next set. We'll just get to that next section right there. The next middle section right there, okay. One, two, and three, and one, two, and three, okay. Now, there's your set, all right? Just before your set, you're doing a normal cluster in the space before. Two and three. And guess what? 
you're jumping over your set and you'll know because it's a really full set it'll look like one two three four but when you look at the top it's only one two and three stitches because you join those two together so you're jumping straight into your next space with another cluster set and that my dears is pretty much that super duper easy now get this <laughs> you're gonna love this part all right let's pull it the loop all right so right there I'll show you that's exactly what you've done you have now closed up your join so now all you're doing for your next two rows will be popping a cluster set in every space you come to and of course you're doing your three two three in the corner you're wondering why I'm saying this aren't you <laughs> because what I want you to do now super duper easy head off on your own yay <laughs> am I yelling okay head off on your own you're going to do this row get to this join slip stitch it then you're going to do another two more rows exactly like this which is just a cluster set in every space a double cluster set in the corner you're going to join the one row and then the two row and then the third row all together you need to do three more rows get to your last stitch slip stitch and wait for me there and we will do the final two rows of border you or you the only thing you need to decide in yourself is what colors you would like to use or if you would have still have between 150 and 200 gram skein of yarn then you can just continue on and do the whole border rows in the same color all right so thank you so much for joining me don't forget to like subscribe and share and do all those wonderful things that you guys already do for me and all i want to say right now is gorgeous <laughs> ciao for now